Hello, my name is Balaji Siva, Product Marketing Manager at Cisco. Today we're going to talk about vMotion across data centers. You're probably familiar with doing vMotion within the same data center, where the source and the destination servers are in the same pod or same data center. What happens if you want to do vMotion across the data center? What, what do you need to watch out for? And why would you want to do that in the first place? vMotion across data center is useful for, for example, data migration, uh, data center disaster avoidance, and many other reasons for doing that. So some of the things that you would need to worry about when you want to do vMotion across data center is how do you maintain the same layer to network between the source and the destination ESX server? How do you manage the storage? And how do you manage the routing? For first, let's talk about the LAN extension part. Cisco has a number of storage solution, number of LAN solutions, which basically allows you to extend the same layer to across the data center. For example, you may have uh, dark fiber within the data center. So you have the Catalyst 6500 VSS and the Nexus 7000 VPC for that. Maybe you have a DWDM ring within the data centers. For that, again, you have a Catalyst 6500 VSS, Nexus 7000 VPC, or you can use the ONS cross ponder solution. Or maybe you have a MPLS solution with the service provider. For that, we have the Catalyst 6500 um, uh, EO MPLS for two data centers and VPLS for multiple data centers. As, uh, also, you get the EO MPLS with the ASR uh, platform. For if you just have IP, you don't have MPLS, you don't have dark fiber, what do you have just IP? We also have a solution for that using the Catalyst 6500 uh, SIP400 solution. Now, let's talk about storage. In, when you come to storage, you have uh, shared storage where you keep the storage in the old data center or you have active active where you have the storage in both the data centers or you have to do something called host based where you move the storage along with the VM for example the storage vMotion that VMware offers so you need to you can use the MD, Cisco MDS family to do the storage extension by a native fiber channel or FCIP which is fiber channel or IP and FCIP with acceleration we also have the routing things that you need to worry about, which is how do you ensure that the ingress traffic to the VM and the egress traffic from the VM is continued once the VM moves to the new data center. So you can do active active HSRP or you can do uh, host based uh, route injection to ensure that the traffic continues to reach the VM in a new data center. We have tested these solutions with Cisco and, and, and VMware working jointly together in our Cisco VMware joint lab. We have proof of concept. We have tested up to 80 kilometers. We have seen that you can do vMotion across data centers, and the performance hit in terms of um, your uh, cutover time is very minimal between the same data center and the 80-kilometer data center, and as well as the performance of the VM itself. We have seen less than 5 to 10 percent hit in terms of performance of the VM. If you want to know more about these solutions, you can reach out uh, at cisco.com as well as the blogs at vmware.com slash networking. You get more information as you go to the VMworld 2009. Uh, we will have a Cisco Live demo as well as presentations. And thank you for watching. Have a good day.